Hello and welcome back to Plainview One. Today I'm gonna to take you inside and show you the tremendous progress that we've made. We're entering the final push. I have an open house scheduled for next week. It's officially the fourth quarter. The weather's gonna get chilly soon and I'm really hoping that we're gonna find our buyer in the next couple of weeks. Come on inside and let me show you what we have going on. At this point, you guys know that I don't put a filter on anything. What it is is what you get, and I bring you along at every phase of every job and kind of show you what it looks like behind the scenes. So today, we basically unlocked the door and started filming. There was no staging, there was no cleanup involved, and where we are right now is in our big open concept living room, family room. I love this space. When we had our soft opening last week and did our first open house, these wood floors weren't stained yet, so you really couldn't see the contrast of the paint versus the floors. But now, even though this is just the first coat of poly, it really pops. I really love this accent wall over here. We're gonna be installing a fireplace and a TV on this wall, and that's gonna complete the look. I really love the way the trim and the paint and everything pops. If you look over here, this is actually the finished color. And now that the wood floors are done, my paint is gonna come on Monday and Tuesday, right around the time that you're watching this episode, and finish up the paint. I'm gonna get the shoe moldings installed, get that accent wall put together, and check out this dining room. This ceiling was something that I sort of added to the plan after the fact. I was a little uncomfortable with how open this layout was because the kitchen's over here. There was really no separation for the dining room because of the open concept that everybody loves. But I think that this ceiling adds a really nice feature. It sort of defines the space without any partitions. So unfortunately, due to some planning errors and some holidays that fell uh, in the month of September, some Jewish holidays, our supplier uh, closes up shop for some of those holidays and we don't have a kitchen yet. But I have 3D renderings and this gives the buyer, potential buyer, an opportunity to select the appliances. So basically, that's the last big missing piece that we have. Otherwise, this place is gonna be completely put together next week and it's gonna be an L shape. The fridge is gonna go over there. Obviously, the sink underneath the window, the dishwasher to the left, there's gonna be a built-in microwave up top over there. And then over here, you're gonna have a stove and a range hood and right in line with this soffit, this is gonna be the end of the kitchen with one last cabinet and an end panel. So sliders to the backyard and then that crucial feature once again, you got a fifth bedroom on this floor. If you don't need a guest bedroom, this will be a nice little office and excuse the mess, but this is our bathroom on the first floor. It's a full bath, so in case you do use this as a bedroom, you have a shower to use. Let's go upstairs and let me show you what that looks like. Now we're upstairs and I have a little bit of cleaning to do. I gotta put those closet doors back in their place, vacuum up and clean this bathroom, finish the electrical, get that light fixture in. We have two bedrooms over here and a nice big laundry room. I hate when you have a huge house and then you have the stacked washer and dryer. This is perfectly made for a side-by-side -side washer and dryer and you still have some room for a folding table. And then this way we have another bedroom and now we're entering the master suite. I love this nice wide open door. One door will stay stationary, the other one will be the active door and it perfectly mirrors what's going on with the laundry. And then here we have the sleeping area for the master. This is tremendous. The bed's gonna be on this wall, TV on that wall, and you have lots of natural light, four huge windows. And then on this side, we have a walk-in closet. And we're gonna do some shelving that's gonna wrap around this way. And some double hanging, drawers, cabinetry. Basically, I kinda slow play this whole situation, hoping that I find the right buyer and they'll get to customize the closet the way they like. And then here we have the master bath. My first vanity came in damaged, really screwed me up for the first open house, but the new replacement vanity is coming later today. We're gonna to install that, get the light fixture in, get the mirrors up, get the soaking tub in. I'm actually gonna go pick that up. That delivery has arrived. That's gonna be installed this week. And then we have a huge walk-in shower over here with a bench. Nice shower curb is gonna get installed. The stone over here, the stone over here, custom shower door. And as you can see, I have my work cut out for me. But we're getting there, we're getting closer. Unlike the inside, we're 100% complete outside. My fence is done, the landscaper's coming to cut the grass later today. And as you can see, from corner to corner, this place is 100% ready, it's presentable, 
and I really do things a little bit differently. A lot of builders in this area at this price point give you seed, a rough grade, and tell you to have a good life. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I don't play that game. Fence, sod, sprinklers, it's all done. The patio's in, all you gotta do is bring your barbecue grill, bring your patio furniture, and start living. And that's why I feel that we're, we do a little better, we're able to sell these a little bit quicker, and I'm trying to carry that luck into this build because as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, the winter's coming and the market always slows down a little bit before it picks back up again after the holidays. So, um, not to sound morbid, if you don't find your buyer in the next few weeks, you're probably not gonna find your buyer until after the new year. So, for the sake of making my accounting easier, and for the sake of getting this money rolled into the next project, I'm hoping that we find our buyers soon. And I just wanna thank you guys once again for watching. It's always a pleasure bringing you guys behind the scenes. I promised you during the new construction series that I was gonna show you every step of every phase. And this is right, this is that punch list phase that I like to call it. We're at the punch list phase. Thank you so much for watching. I'll bring you back once again when this build's 100% complete. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate. Have a great day, everyone.